Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing on Palantir's US government contracts based on data I gotten from usaspending.gov. As usual, this video is only for educational purposes only. Do not treat this as an investment advice. Always do your own due diligence as my view may be biased. Palantir's government business experienced a significant drop in year-on-year -year growth, raising concerns among investors. In this video, we'll be using usaspending.gov to understand more of the government contracts awarded. This website is the official source for spending data that provides transparency on how government funding is spent. As part of the Federal Funding Accountability and Transparency Act of 2006, contracts of more than 25 k have to be published on publicly accessible websites. I run through how to use the website and the key data points and definitions in this video. I do encourage you to check out the website and data yourself. The link is provided in the description below. Given the extensive database out there, I have interpreted the data based on best effort basis, so do feel free to correct me if you spot any mistakes. In the next video, I will then share the insights that I gotten from data to answer some key questions on Palantir's government business. So when you enter the website, you have to click on Award Search followed by Advanced Search. On the left bar, you will then have to input Palantir as recipient and click Submit Search. You will then see a table of contracts in the middle. In this case, there are 205 contracts and the table only shows you limited number of data fields. You can then, then download the data to obtain more fields by clicking on the Download button on the top right hand corner. There are two levels of data available. One is at contract level, which means at a high level contract view. Along the line of life of an award, there may be changes to the contract. For example, an option has been exercised after the base period of the contract is over. This one level down data is called the transaction, transaction view, which you can extract, extract out as well. In the next few slides, I'll randomly select a contract and key in the website to show you details at award and transaction level for that sp specific contract. This to help us understand which are the key data fields and what they meant before using the whole database in Excel. Last year, there was a 823 million army contract won by Palantir and was reported in the news on 6 of October 2021. Right here, you can find the contract details in the website by searching through the unique award ID that starts with W56K in this example. Do note that this is at award level, or in other words, contract view. The top left shows the contract type, which is an IDIQ or indefinite contract, whereby a specific quantity range cannot be determined upfront. Therefore, you see the potential award amount to be $823 million, while the obligated and current award amount as zero. I will show you the definitions of these three terms using another contract with def definite terms for easy explanation. Another key detail is the start and end date of the contract. You can also find many other details such as the purpose of the contract if you scroll down the page. I did not show you on screen right now, but do check it out yourself. Moving on to another definite, definite, definite contract, you can see this is another DOD uh, award with two different end date definitions. Current end date refers to the end of contract once the current currently exercised work is completed. If only the base contract is required, without exercising the options, this current end date is likely to be before the potential end date, which is the latest date, assuming all options are exercised and plan is required to do additional work beyond the base requirements. In this example, both these are the same as the options have been exercised and the award is near completion. You can deduce this from the transaction view which I will show later. The next important fields are the three definitions of the dollar amount. The obligated amount means Palantir will receive 85.9 million for the work they have done. Current award amount usually matches the obligated amount, but in certain cases, such as in this example, the amount can be higher than the obligated amount. The last definition is potential amount, which assumes all options of the contract are being exercised. In other words, this is the maximum Palantir can expect to receive from the contract. For simplicity's sake, I will only focus on the obligated and the potential award amount in this video. Drilling one level down, we can observe the six transactions that took place through the life of the award. This is represented by the six dots in the con contract activity chart. Using the last transaction as an example, an option was exercised exercise that increased the obligated amount by 37.4 million, and Palantir now expects a total payment of 85.9 million. 
The details are in the below table which can also be extracted out onto the Excel when you choose the transaction view instead of award level. Please download the award and transaction data to try it out. We spoke about the key data fields in the video. Foremost, there is a unique contract ID for each award. You can use this ID to pull out a specific contract on the website. We also have the start and end date. There are two end dates with one accounting for only the current obligations and the other potential end date that falls later and assumes all options are being exercised. In terms of award amount, I will focus on obligated amount which is what Blender expects to receive for the work that have been already been done and also the potential award amount which is the maximum amount if all options are exercised. We should be able to get some good insights based on these key fields in the Excel database. I will share what I have found out from the data in the next video. In the meantime, do try out the data at your end. I would really appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. I have put in lots of effort to generate these contents. Thank you and see you again.